Good morning, Bethany family. This is Pastor Sweeney here for Friday's Devotion. Um, I'm recording this devotion on a Wednesday afternoon. It's late in the afternoon. It's really hot and muggy out because we're expecting some storms tonight. Um, I think between the hours of 5 through 10, some storms, pretty severe storms, are supposed to roll through. And those storms make me think of this. My dog, Tula. There you see Tula, she's the queen of the house, just relaxing on, on her chair. Um, we love her very much, she's, she's a wonderful companion. But I'll tell you one thing about Tula, is she is terribly frightened by thunderstorms and also by fireworks. Now, I don't know about you, but we've had fireworks almost every night this week. And uh, now we're gonna have thunderstorms tonight. Um, and I just feel so helpless when those things happen because what she does is her body just starts to shake. And then what she does is she runs down to the basement door and she just pounds on that door and she cries. And she, I'm usually down there um, studying or watching TV. She wants me to come and let her down there. She just wants to be with me. And so that's what I do. I come up, I, I let her in. But I feel helpless because I can't stop the thundering in the sky, whether it's, you know, thunderstorms or whether it's uh, firecrackers or something like that, some fireworks going off. Once she gets downstairs, what she does is she usually jumps on the couch and uh, right, she gets right by me and, and very soon um, she'll start to relax. She really doesn't need me to make the storm go away. I just think that she needs to be near me. Maybe you have a dog like that too. Um, it reminds me of our Christian faith a little bit, right? We all at times have a need like that, right? Floods threaten, fires burn, um, diseases spread, right? And, and we need someone to be with us, someone to, to hold us up as we go through this, someone to get drenched with us, someone to, to deal with the heat along with us. We need someone more powerful, right? someone who can shield us and defend us and, and lift us up. And we have that someone as Christians and that someone has a name and his name is the Lord, right? Our Lord isn't some absent God who's far away from us. Um, we often think that way. We get busy with our own lives and we distance ourselves from God and think he's a far away God, but, but he's not. He's our creator. He's our redeemer, he's our sanctifier. And that's what we learn in our text for today that serves as the basis of our devotion. I'd like to read that text to you today. It's from Isaiah chapter 43, verses one through three. Hear the word of the Lord. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. This is the word of the Lord. This passage is such a wonderful reminder of our, of our ever-present God, of the one who's with us uh, no matter what. Um, we have no assurance whatsoever in Scripture that there are going to be no fires or floods in our paths, right? Uh, in fact, Jesus says the opposite, right? Um, in John 16, he says, in this world, you will have trouble. He says, you're going to have trouble. Um, and so we know that those things are going to happen. But we don't go through those things alone, right? Uh, we have a God who lived and died and, and rose again and who promises to be with us always uh, to the very end of the age. And, and we are his children and he's promised to never forsake us. He grabs a hold of us and uh, he'll never let us go. He's with us uh, no matter what, whatever flood, whatever fire we're experiencing. 
and he knows us intimately. Um, as he said, he's called us by name. He summoned us by name and, and we are his, we belong to his. And so because of his wonderful promises, we know that no matter what uh, trial we're experiencing, whether it be a thunderstorm, a flood, um, whatever you might call it, um, like, our, like my dog, or, or whether it be um, some um, trial or tribulation that we're going through, no matter what it, it is, we're not going through it alone. Our Lord and Savior Jesus is with us. Uh, we are his. Um, we were purchased, redeemed by the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus. And so we are his forever. He's with us. He'll never forsake us. And um, his words are, take heart. I have overcome the world. And knowing that he has overcome the world, we know that we can get through anything with him by our side. Bethany, have a blessed week. Uh, hope to see you soon as we uh, look to open up our on-site worship June the 21st. And um, God's blessings to you as we await that wonderful time and celebration. Take care. God's blessings. Bye.